Chris Paul has made a career out of breaking down defenses and making the right plays at the perfect times. Simply put, he's one of the best point guards ever. But while everyone knows he is one of the smartest playmakers of the era, he's also an incredible shooter. And his signature shot, the elbow jumper, is an underrated masterpiece. Dancing with the basketball just to throw him off balance a little bit. In the game range. Such a smooth looking shot. It all starts with the play Paul was born to execute. The pick and roll, aka the bread and butter play of the modern NBA. Paul is a pick and roll maestro, and as soon as a teammate sets a ball screen for him, he turns into one of the most dangerous weapons in the NBA. Since the league launched its player tracking system back in 2013-14, nobody has been involved in more pick and roll actions than Chris Paul, who's been the ball handler in over 20,000 such actions in that time frame. 20,000! Even though he's played for several teams and coaches in that period, all of CP3's coaches have agreed to let him do his thing in the pick and roll. That's why he's run a pick and roll in over half of the possessions he's been on the court over the last seven seasons. There are two main reasons why Paul is a savant in the pick and roll game. First, he's a devastatingly great passer. He's the active leader in assists with nearly 10,000 for a reason. Just look at this. Nice pass. Beautifully done. Chris Paul. Watch this lob. Chris Paul, nobody does it any better. That's just not fair. But Paul's incredible mid-range scoring is a second huge reason why he's such a good pick and roll player. He loves using a screen and snaking his way into an open look between his chasing defender and a backpedaling big. His shot chart shows that he's pretty much automatic near the elbows. Look at all that mid-range action. So Paul takes that shot to the mid-range, he knew it was going in. Given his elite passing and shooting, defenders are left with no good choices, and their reluctance to leave an open big rolling to the basket has freed Paul to launch over 5,000 shots out of pick and roll actions in the last seven seasons. He eviscerated the modern defense of switching. Yes. Because he just killed them with the mid range. CP3 is equally dangerous as an isolation scorer at those elbows. Check out this classic example from back in February of 2015 when CP3 was still on the Clippers and they were hosting the defending world champs. With the Clippers in possession and clinging to a late game, one point lead, LA needs to both kill time and produce points. The point guard calmly dribbles out near half court communicating to decline a screen from Lob City partner DeAndre Jordan. Then, with the shot clock winding down, Paul dribbles towards his happy spot, the right elbow. Everyone in the gym, including his defender Manu Ginobili, knows he's going to shoot. As Paul arrives at the elbow, Ginobili can't be any tighter, but that's not a problem. Paul nudges the Argentine away with his left forearm and slips the ball back behind with his right hand. And just like that, he has all the space he needs to knock down one of the most reliable 16-foot jumpers in the league and ice the game. Here's Paul. Yes! Eight seconds remaining. Just a few months later, Paul was once again facing those Spurs, this time in the seventh game of a brutal first round series. Once again, the Clippers needed a bucket, and once again, Paul dribbled his way into a tough mid-ranger and sank the series clincher over the outstretched hands of Tim Duncan, sending the defending champions home. And the Clippers have ripped the heart out of the Spurs. Paul has been terrorizing opponents with unassisted mid-rangers from these key areas for years. Check out these two stats. Over the past seven seasons, he leads all NBA scorers in this zone with 1,021 unassisted buckets here. That's nice, but here's where it gets crazy. Out of 79 NBA players that have tried at least 500 unassisted shots from this zone in that same time frame, Chris has also posted the best accuracy numbers, hitting an astounding 49.5% of such shots in this area. That's better than Durant, better than Curry, better than Dirk. 
In other words, not only is CP3 the most prolific unassisted scorer in this area, he's also the most accurate. When people think of the best shooters of the last decade, of course they're quick to point out Durant, Curry, Nash, and Dirk. But it's time to add Chris Paul to that list, folks. And if he's been left off in the past, he knows it's partially because of a lack of style. A lot of times you're not gonna see what I do show up on Sports Center. They don't wanna see no floaters, they don't wanna see no mid-range pull-ups, none of that stuff. They wanna see some dunks and some threes and all that stuff like that. And, you know, um, my dad taught me when I was younger, you know, do your job. You know, whether they appreciate it or not, do your job. Paul has done his job of creating and knocking down jumpers as well as anybody. And when you consider the fact that the dude is just 6'1", CP3 stats become even more astounding. At 35 years old, Chris Paul has already built a Hall of Fame resume, but he's not done yet. And while he's never been to the NBA Finals, just ask Tim Duncan in the 2014-15 Spurs. Nobody wants to see him in a playoff series. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.